Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and we are back today. 3.20 has launched. I'm loving it by the way. And we are back with our first gamble. So we have 112 random rare jewels versus 112 vol orbs. Now this is not like a, an expensive gamble by any means, but I think more than anything, I want to understand rates when it comes to hitting corrupted uh, unique jewels because now that is the only way to get a lot of jewels. Earlier in the league, uh, just randomly while streaming, uh, check me out on twitch.tv slash um, I corrupted a random jewel, hit a seeding fury that sold for 1.5 divines. So I, wanna, I was thinking, if I bulk corrupt these, could that be a really cheap way to make money? Vol orbs are like roughly, 112 vol orbs is roughly like 60 or 65 C. These jewels, really nothing, like a couple alks per, we'll call it one C each just to make it easy. So 112 C total, it's not that much more than a divine. If we hit one jewel worth of divine, we're pretty much in the money. Um, so I figure let's just, you know, let's just jump right into it and see how it goes. There are a variety of item levels. I do have three fractured jewels. I'm not sure if that really matters, but, um, I guess we'll find out. So the goal is to see A, how many uniques we hit, and then B, how many valuable uniques we hit. So let's just go like this. So we hit two right off the bat. I don't, I don't know the values of a lot of these offhand, so we're gonna have to check them. So a lot of the, you see a lot of the threshold jewels there. Oh, we got two dust. We'll have to check them at the end, of course, the rolls. The golden rule. Maybe also worth checking, right, to see if they hit like, um, if we hit like corrupted blood or anything, a second to dust. Are those valuable? Another seething fury. Easy, easy. Let's see if it's worth anything. I can't really see because my thing over the my mouse going over the uh, window. So the, obviously the roll on the threshold jewels matters. Okay, so these can still turn into uniques even if uh, even if they're they're fractured. Cool. So. Uh, let's go through, I'll pull out the number of uniques, then I'm going to check the rares just to make sure that there's no corrupted blood or anything on there. Um, we did hit Seething Fury, that's pretty pog. Our roll is, is pretty solid as well. Threshold jewels will obviously need to be checked for the roll, like it's a mid-tier roll. Uh, this one's a max roll on a fertile mind, this one was using that, but we'll do a quick check and I'll see where we land. Alrighty, we are back. Now, look at the results here. We hit 38 unique jewels out of 112 total, hit rate of about 34%. Uh, again, there was no item level criteria or anything. Most of these were red map tier jewels because uh, I farmed them myself. Um, but overall, that's what we hit. So not too shabby. Uh, looking at the unique jewels, um, most of them are not worth anything, even like high rolls. Like, let me find an example here. Okay, yeah, like fluid motion, max rolls only like a few C. Uh, we hit max roll efficient training twice, that's a few C. Uh, I think if fluid motion had hit better, uh, we would have hit, let's say, 24 on fluid motion. That's uh, about 7C. Not too much. So, none of these are all that great. Rolls are pretty standard. To dust rolls, also not that special. Um, Seething Fury, by and away, the best jewel that we've hit. It costs just about 100 to 120C for this. Uh, no corrupted blood on any of these jewels, and a mana reservation efficiency isn't worth as much anymore, right? Because of the, it being an explicit mod as well now. I wonder if you stack them. Maybe that could be really cool. Um, but overall, Seething Fury carried us significantly. But, I mean, if you're looking at costs, and I, I've been using the cost I said at the beginning, which I guess I have to stick to, uh, it's about break even, I would say, roughly, once all these jewels sell. And they'll sell early in the league, even like the not great ones, if you really wanted to. Um, it'll break even. But because I farmed most of these jewels myself, just like picking up random jewels here and there that I see, uh, it would be profit. So I would say, because of that, it's probably not a bad strategy overall to pick up rare jewels and just corrupt them uh, and just see what you get because you will get eventually something like this um so overall pretty cool figure i wanted to try this out real quick see if there's any hidden profit potential but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch you in the next one